Hey, this is Nicolosi. Since its launch, Melafo has been evolving rapidly with new features and modules. Its modular interface lets you seamlessly build fully custom synthesizers, unique audio effects, and complex MIDI processors. It now ships with over 50 modules with diverse capabilities. One big feature that was missing when Melafo was introduced is polyphony, which I wanted to get right before shipping it. With a 4.7 update, this feature is finally here, and you can now build your own polyphonic synthesizers. In this session, we'll take the preset created in the Melafo introduction video and step by step convert it to a polyphonic preset. If you're new to Mela, I recommend you first watch the Introducing to Mela 4 video, as we will build on that knowledge. The link can be found in the description below. Let's get into it. You may know the Mela supports three types of lanes, MIDI, audio and instrument. What's changed in this version is that an instrument lane can now be polyphonic. This means an instrument lane converts incoming MIDI into a polyphonic signal which is simply a set of independent voices. A voice consists of note-on-off information, as well as pitch and audio signals. At the end of the lane, the audio signals from each voice are summed and sent to the output. One last piece of theory before we start updating the preset is that modulator modules on either audio or MIDI lanes act like monophonic sources whereas modulators on instrument lanes generate polyphonic modulation signals. OK, this is what the original preset sounds like. First, let's switch the preset to polyphonic mode. Then, duplicate the MIDI lane Convert it to the instrument type and change its input to MIDI bus 1. The modulators on the second lane are polyphonic. Let's bypass the arpeggiator so we can focus on polyphony. And we won't need the monophonic MIDI source, so let's remove it. We can add voice activity modules to monitor how voices are allocated to the incoming notes as well as their levels. We can hear the preset sounds too harsh in polyphonic mode. We can improve this. Let's change the polyphonic MIDI source's input to velocity. We can see it modulates the amp envelopes attack and filter cutoff. The first LFO is global, so let's leave only stereo delay parameters as targets and rename it for clarity. The second LFO is polyphonic, meaning each voice's target parameter is modulated independently from other voices. Let's remove the delays parameters from the LFO's targets and rename it also. Now there is one issue. The saturator is monophonic and is applied to the sum of all voices. This will cause unwanted intermodulation when the chords are played. Let's place it after the amp envelope. By making the voice LFO retrigger or note on events, the filter cutoff and distortion drive will change independently for each voice. Now let's make a few small adjustments to make the preset sound more pleasing overall.
Finally, to glue the voices together and keep levels under control, let's insert a clipper module. We now have a fully polyphonic preset. You can check out the Getting Started guide for the full details about polyphony and the new modulation capabilities of Mela. As well as access the polyphony settings help to learn more about the various modes Mela supports. That's all for now. If you enjoy using Mela, leave a review on the App Store. For any questions or feedback, post a comment below. See you next time.